Hey folks, today we are doing the installation for the Genie Bidet toilet seat. Uh, the box comes with everything you need. It comes with the unit. Uh, it comes with the hardware you need to mount the uh, bidet seat to the toilet. Uh, it also comes with the uh, plumbing hardware you need uh, so that you can utilize the uh, bidet function of this toilet seat. Um, some tools you're going to need. Uh, you'll need some pliers just to loosen and tighten things. And then you'll need um, uh, the screwdriver just to tighten down the bolts. Uh, for the bracket that holds the bidet on. First things first, uh, before you do anything, uh, you see that little white piece in the uh, inlet valve for the bidet? Just go ahead, grab some tweezers, grab some needle nose pliers, pull the whole thing out. Um, it uh, it's just flow. It, it's a flow restrictor. Um, most people find that the bidet spray isn't good enough when it's in, so just do yourself a favor, pull it out now. Uh, the the handle allows you to control the how strong the flow is so you know no worries about it being too strong or anything like that um, just pull it out right now when mounting the uh, the bracket to uh, the toilet after you've taken off your existing seat um, you'll have the option to put the screws either into these anchors or to tighten them down using the butterfly nuts most toilets will allow it just do the butterfly nuts if you may have a toilet that you have to use the anchors that's fine but if you, if you have access, um, just use the butterfly nuts. Uh, you'll get a tighter connection. Uh, your bidet will come with a T-connector. Um, it's got an on-off valve, which is really nice. That's, uh, you know, either starts or stops the flow of water to the bidet. As well as, um, it comes with this black gasket. The black gasket goes in the top here. That's the connection between the T-connector and the, um, the inlet valve for the toilet tank. Uh, make sure that the, the, the gasket goes in there before you connect it. Also, if you do not have the gasket uh, in it, it's just missing for whatever reason, please email the company uh, and let them know. It's just it's a part that you need. Okay, so first things first, um, you're going to want to just remove the toilet seat uh, that's on your toilet right now since the uh, bidet seat replaces it. And then um, you're going to want to turn off your water. Um, this normally, this is just a test toilet that I'm using. This normally would be connected to a valve that supplies water to your toilet. Uh, make sure you turn that off before unscrewing anything. You'll be in for surprise if you don't. Um, and then you'll be unscrewing this from the uh, valve here. Okay, so this is arguably the most important part. Um, right, this right, what you see is a, it's a brass inlet. Uh, most toilets don't have a brass inlet. They have a plastic inlet. Um, and uh, as a result, it's easy to cross-thread um, this connector, the T-connector, with the, the plastic inlet. So make sure when you attach it that it's nice and flush. Um, you do, if, it's, you know, if it's at an angle or anything like that and you go to tighten it down, um, it, it, it'll go on, but it, it'll be crooked. Um, it won't, it'll leak, and uh, you do risk crushing your threads too if they're plastic. So just make sure that this is as flush as possible and it should tighten on nice and easy. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the water supply line connected to the bottom of the T-connector. I've got um, the white hose that supplies water to the bidet connected, and I've got the T-connector itself um, connected flush without any cross-threading um, onto the inlet valve for the toilet tank. Okay, so next step is going to be to attach the bracket that holds the bidet on. Um, what you're going to want to do is put these little metal brackets inside the larger uh, one. Uh, slide the uh, the, bra the plastic bracket as far forward as possible, and then you see there's a little thing that says front um, right there. So just make sure that that's you know facing forward, um, and then you're gonna drop the uh, screw in through there. Like I said, as far forward, and then you're gonna attach um, the butterfly nut underneath and tighten that down. And uh, while you're doing that, after you get it hand tightened, you can hold the butterfly nut and then tighten it down with a screwdriver afterwards. Um, if for whatever reason uh, you need to use the anchors, you just put the anchors right in like that. You just push them down and then um, put the bracket over it and put the screw in. Okay, so uh, once uh, you've attached the bracket in, uh, the bidet actually just slides right on super easy. And when you push back, you'll hear click. And so it's clicked, it's secure on there. Um, and then if you ever want to detach the bidet, you just push this button and slide it right off. Super easy. It makes the bidet super easy to clean because you can just pull the whole thing off. All right, final step. Uh, just attach uh, this L-shaped uh, section uh, to the inlet. Um, remember, that's after you remove the uh, flow restrictor in there. 
and uh, you know also make sure that this has the black gasket in there. Um, it also is clear sometimes. Uh, and uh, once that's finished, uh, you know, make sure that all your connections are tightened down nicely. Um, just take pliers, make sure that everything uh, is tightened down a quarter to a half a turn past hand tighten. Uh, that'll just prevent any leaks from happening. And uh, when you want to, once you've got your water turned back on, um, the T connector, uh, this is off position, this is on position, like I said, supplying water to the bidet itself. And then here is uh, where you control how strong the flow of the bidet is. And there's two different uh, settings for the bidet. Uh, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email um, the customer service for Elegance Quality Products. Uh, they're happy to help you out.